Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. And today we're going to talk about the final steps in the court hearing. And I think we've been all waiting for some actual news since months, and especially the mobile community. And we've got input from the official judge of this lawsuit and how he wants to handle the situation right now. However guys, thank you so much for almost 2000 subscribers. I'm trying to put out content every single day for you guys to enjoy and prepare for a huge giveaway once we hit 2000 subscribers. For my 1k subs giveaway, I gave away a Razer Viper Mini to a random person out of my subscribers list. But I think we can do better for the next time, for the next big milestone, which would be 2k. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and let's start straight into the video. I'm gonna leave right now some timestamps on the screen if you don't want to hear the first part because first of all let's break down the whole situation just to make sure everyone is on the same page. If you already know what pretty much happened the last few months you can also just skip straight up to the part where I talk about the new information. Other than that, Apple changed a few of their terms and conditions for their payment system which allowed them to take more money off in-game purchases such as V-Bucks or cosmetic items. Epic Games started a lawsuit against Apple saying this is not fair and no company should be allowed to have so much power over third party services. And since then Fortnite was completely removed from the Apple Store and Google Play, leaving the mobile community left behind with a 6 months older version of the current game. Literally nothing has changed so far from the original situation and to be honest it only got worse ever since an Epic Games employer or more or less the chef of Epic Games. Tim Sweeney compared the Epic Games vs Apple case with a fight for civil rights. I get it, Apple just can take a certain amount of money from a company no matter how big the company is, but Fortnite could have definitely handled the situation differently. Not only Epic Games suffers from this change, other companies as well who try to produce some content for mobile. They knew how many people are playing the game currently on mobile devices. They knew about the consequences of this lawsuit, but put money over their fans. Calling Apple out in front of millions of fans, making an entire cup just with the purpose to ruin the name of Apple's brand, and afterwards comparing this to something as big as the fight for civil rights might not be the smartest way to approach this. And now let's finally continue with the brand new information we've got so far. At 1pm EST today, there was an Epic Games vs Apple court hearing, which was fully public and you could join through a Zoom link. Remember, this is pretty much the first time both companies talked about their issues with a court. It took literally 7 months to get here, which is an absolutely insane amount of time. After the first hearing, the judge just announced he wants to get Tim Cook, who is the CEO of Apple, into a private court hearing for 7 hours. This could be the final hearing before any actions can happen. After this we might probably get an official update from Epic Games since they finally managed to let the court hearing happen. They let the community down for so many months and to be honest I think this gives a lot of mobile players hope that this whole entire situation might be over soon. And I pray for you guys that right now actually some actions can happen since I know you've been waiting, you've been playing this old ass version of the game for over 7 months now which is still chapter 2 season 3 which is crazy to think about that you guys are still playing chapter 2 season 3 and besides that I find it very rude that you guys can still buy V-Bucks on this older version of the game. I mean you've got no content, no nothing, you don't even get a single skin gifted for this time you've been waiting, you know? You've been out there 7 months playing this older version of the game and they still say yeah you can perfectly find buy V-Bucks and give us even more money, you know? That's just simply not a classy move in my opinion. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section guys. And this is it pretty much. So we finally got some actions right now happening which is great after all. And yeah, obviously stay tuned guys, I'm trying to keep on with all the new informations. Let's see, hopefully finally something will happen. Chapter 2 Season 5 is almost in the mid now and I mean nothing has still happened. And they can't keep this up for over than a year. I mean people are waiting out there. People, content creators, pro players, no matter what, everyone wants some sort of content and they simply can't just expect everyone who uses an iOS device to switch over to a high-end expensive Android device. This is just not how it works guys. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night. Don't forget to use code BABYSTRIPES in the Fortnite item shop. I would highly appreciate that. Maybe even follow me on Twitter or join my personal Discord. I'm answering all of you guys questions, giving you tips and feedback how to build a YouTube channel your own. 
And with that said, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and see you guys just in the next video. I'm out. Peace.